Hey, it's Bodyguard here, and we're going to be covering vehicles. So to get to vehicles, you go to Objects, Vehicles, and we've got a few different ones here. Now, keep in mind, all of these are unit-specific. So if you put a cop car here, it's only going to be for police. Basic controls, you select a cop a vehicle. You do have to select them individually, and that's partly due to the fact that they don't have collision. If you manage to select two of them at once, things, you get this. You know, they don't collide, so they end up on top of each other, and you can't get them separated again. Which unfortunately means, for the next part, you know, how to open and close the doors, slash load and unload them. So when they're loaded up, you can double tap, and the doors open, and it automatically ejects everyone in. When you double tap again, the doors close, and when units go over to it again, they will just pop right in. When they do get in, if they're infected or injured, they get healed up. Kind of a general assumption is they keep med kits and stuff in, in their vehicles, so just kind of roll with that one for now. But again, you know, double tap, that lets them out, double tap again, doors are closed, and they can get back in. And again, they are unit specific, so that is only for cops for cop cars. The ambulance over here is only for medics. We have the SWAT car, which is our first one that's a little bit different because it pops out more units. It's got a good eight of them there. We have the tank, which is the first shooting one. You'll see it has a little countdown for when it's ready to shoot the next shot or when it's reloaded. Again, this isn't supposed to be the most realistic tank. Yeah, yeah, there's supposed to be machine guns and stuff on it, but this is more for you know, game balancing and stuff. It only has its tank, you know, cannon there. If we double tap, soldiers will get out of it. You know, full little tank crew there. Double tap again, you'll see the hatch is closed and they can get back in. And it's that little hatch right on the top that gives you an indication. You know, you can see a cat clip open, clip close. Same with, you know, you see the doors open on that to show it's open. And for the SWAT van, it's a little harder to see, but especially on the black road there, but it has those little van doors on the side. We also have the Jeep here. The Jeep holds, I'm going to say about six or eight of those soldiers as well. Looks like eight. Same thing, you know, doors open, doors close, a little bit hard to see there. We have the APC here, which is similar to the tank. You know, it can drive around, it has a turret on it. If you open it, it only has one soldier at the moment. I believe there's some stuff that's going to be changing on that. If I go on put down a zombie there, you'll see it can shoot. Same with the tank there. Yeah, it'll blast right away. Unlike the tank, the APC does not have a reload period. The tank and the APC do have a lot of hit points. You know, just so you know on that. On the vehicles, we also have the newest vehicle, the Raider Van. You'll see it's a Raider one. When peace mode is off, it will attack. It has a group of Raiders in it. It's kind of a rusted up, modified ambulance. So, you know, if we put down some soldiers and stuff, we'll go on set that up. I had to pause there for a second, but we'll go on put off our peace mode there and you'll see you know they'll start shooting at each other great for just running in and you know dropping off a group of raiders to attack let's see the tank does try to take it out apc currently ignores it you know it's new things have might change on that but you know great for just dropping in a whole group maybe you close it up put one back in to keep shooting but you know could get all around cool for that We'll put peace mode back on, and we're just going to drive around, say, the ambulance here. I can actually put people back in. Just having a little senior moment. But you'll see, you know, it'll try to, it has areas where it can go out of the end of the grass. But for the most part, depending on where you tell it to go, it'll try to stay within the lines. So, I'm just going to put one, say, I'm just going to put a, cop car down here and tell him to go up here. You'll see he'll just cut right through there because there's a little gap area to let him through. 
You'll see that a lot, but there are kind of invisible walls, so if you tell him to go there, see, he'll have an area to go, but for the most part, they have to find these kind of like little bumper free zones to go in and out of the grass. Depending on where you tell them to go though, there'll be more or less. That whole system's still in progress to keep, keep them on the road more, but again, they're, they've been working on that. And that covers a lot of it. You will notice a few things to add in. Zombies will go after loaded vehicles, so if I put two, you know, say I put that there, while the, it will block the zombies' movements, they won't actively attack that one, unlike this car. This one has people in it. The cars can run people over, but it does do a good bit of damage to them. And again, you know, we can just, say, run over here with the car, put the cops behind it, and they can use it as an improvised barricade. You know, it'll stop them for a bit while they take cover. You know, good use for them there. And that covers most of our vehicles there. At the moment, that's the bulk of what the vehicles do. I'm going to be I'm going to go on cover the evac copter here. So we covered a little bit of it. Its main purpose is to call in civilians for evacuation. So when you tap it, it'll come in from the left. You can see it just kind of thumping in. It's going to land here in a moment. And once it lands, you'll see all these civilians just flocking in. They'll start lo you'll see two bodyguards pop out of it. You can't control them, but they will be there to kind of provide a little bit of protection for it. You'll see them just gun down that. You'll see double tap to take off, but we're going to hold off on taking off just yet. So if you say double spawn, you know, a couple helicopters in, they do have a little feature to kind of prevent that. So when one of them hits in, the other should delete. You know, to kind of keep the whole like massive lineup kind of thing if you multi-tap. Can't exactly remember how that process worked, but you if you'll notice you can kind of put them anywhere. Go on deliver, take off all these. But yeah, you'll notice how I put those down where there's already helicopters, most of those deleted already. When a helicopter goes on and touches one of those, it will delete it. And the one that just came in over here, you'll see it still spawns them, but they'll leave. And this one where it just came in, I put it near a wall. They will knock the walls around. That is intentional. They'll pretty much break the wall, knock it to the side. So in theory, you can put them anywhere. They will clear their space. And just something to note, these bodyguards, if they don't get back in in time, they will stick with other helicopters. You can also get times like this where they've been around, they touched other helicopters that were leaving and they've all ditched, you know, they've kind of all ditched out and now this helicopter has no bodyguards. So in theory, if a helicopter gets blown up while it's on the ground, which that can happen, they do die. So if I put a bunch of zombies here, Okay, we just paint them all in. We'll see that helicopter die here in a moment. You'll see it's all busted up. If there were other, you know, helicopters around, that would go on and, you know, pop up. That would go on, kind of keep around, you know. They'd just patrol the other helicopter instead. Sorry, a little, got a little awkward on explaining that one. So all of these can actually explode. So if we just hoard up times and times of zombies, every one of these has an animation going instead. All of these will explode in some way when they die. When they do die, they'll eject whatever's in them. You can just kind of quicken that up. So you can see both of those that were piled up exploded. That exploded. SWAT van, or the, you know, Raider van exploded. They're all slowly dying on us. Tank here. He is a strong one, but there he went breaking down. 
same with this. You know, it's a strong ATC, but it will break. And after a few moments, they'll start catching fire, which I have always liked. And on various maps, you know, some will be pre-spawned, just like old Frank here. But yeah, that's the most of our vehicles there. Again, you know, great ways to plow through the, the zombie hordes, get people to safety, you know, get people out of areas. Like, you know, those medics would have already been dead, but, you know, they can just drive through to get, you know, wherever you want them safely. I'm going to try to hold the video a few moments longer to see these, you know, start... Yep, there we go, starting to catch fire. And then after they catch fire, they'll kind of burn down into husks of themselves. You know, just burnt out wreckages, which I find really neat. And that is it for all of our vehicles there. I'm going to go on in the video.